What up, Scatter Crew? So, welcome. Today, we are headed to check a leaky sprinkler. Yeah, got a call. Starting to call. I wasn't supposed to start working until Monday, but I'm just gonna go check it out and see what we need, because we're not even gonna be doing sprinklers here for a little while. So, I'm just gonna go take a look at it, see what we got. But, uh, in the meantime, we are going to head up and check it out. So stay tuned and see what we got. Also, I gotta go tear out a little pine tree. So um, yeah, stay tuned. What's up, Scatter Crew? Hey, check this out. Do you like puppies? I like puppies. Here's a puppy. You know what I like to do? I like to smash that like button. Yeah, so does the puppy. Beep, beep. Smash it, thank you. Do it for the puppy. What is up, Scatter Crew? Check it out. I got the work truck today. You know what that means? We're gonna be working. And by working, I mean I gotta take out this pine tree right here. So here we go. Alright, let's do this. Start digging this up. <laughs> throw this in the back of the truck and then go do my sprinkler stuff yo all right so check this out so I went to this other job here right and uh, I basically had oh I, I got a call sorry I'm like sweating here I got a call to do this sprinkler job and uh, well, let's just say there was a little leak, right? Well, the problem with this sprinkler job is there, that it's a new property. I don't know where the shutoff is, right? So we're searching around. We're trying to find the shutoff. We can find the majority of shutoff valves, right? Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I know where a lot of them are. Um, Sorry, I'm just gonna turn on the air here just a minute, but but I, I know where a lot of them are. It's not too hard to find them. Uh, some of them are a little harder to find, but I can find the majority of them, right? Well, this particular one, the tenant had just moved in. We couldn't find it. Like he had a leak in the backyard, so I determined that there was a, a hose spigot uh, valve an inline valve you know that basically ran the water from the front valves into the backyard so I had water pressure to one set of valves but I did not have any water pressure to the backyard valves which was funny to me because that's where the leak was right so I determined, hey, you probably you probably got a stopping waste that's leaking, you know, it's 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 leaking a little bit and it's just pushing all the water into those back valves and it's leaking. So um no, that wasn't the case. So we go to the front yard, turn the valves on, sure as shit, they've got full pressure. We're watering the lawn right now, you know, it's like it had snowed today. We're out there watering the lawn. I couldn't find it. I could not find it. So we dug, we dug down, went into the house, turned off the main line, realized that that valve was for the house. So obviously we were just testing things at this point. Went outside, kept digging. I, 
I, I basically followed the line from the front valves all the way over to the edge of the house and there was one extra line in there that went that was a little bit deeper you know the main line so I finally found that valve right so you know following it it should have went to any normal spot where you hook into a culinary system right by the man cover that the city has out there the water water main cover well, anyways uh, so we were following it we were digging and you know don't get me wrong like there's been a few I've literally been on my hands and knees for an hour or two me and Matt trying to find where the valve was we eventually found it like we found it so that's what we were doing to this house like me uh, the tenant was there helping me out a little bit but long story short we opened the city manhole cover which you're you're not supposed to put the valves in there right well I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get a picture off my phone and we're gonna we're gonna send it here to this little video here that I'm making but it was inside the city water meter can and all it was was like a little garden valve hose inline PVC valve that you turned on and off not a not a brass fitting not a not a you know normal stop and waste valve this was just a regular ball valve regular plastic ball valve <sighs> so after like two hours of searching for this damn thing determining that you know obviously the sprinkler still had water going we found it I don't normally look in the water meter valves because they're never in there but these guys literally hooked in, and you're not supposed to do this but they literally hooked in to the city valve not the main water line like the little pipes coming up and they're like a, they're like a half inch pipe I swear anyway they hooked into that, and uh, that's where the water line was. So, what I thought was going to be just a simple job, running and turning off some sprinklers, and then going back later on and fixing the brakes, I spent like two and a half hours over there trying to fix this stupid, find this valve. But we got it off, nonetheless. It's off. We are ready to, in the springtime, go back to that property and turn it back on and fix it's gonna be i think it's gonna be a nightmare trying to fix some of this stuff yeah anyways so yeah that's my day today i'm not technically supposed to start work till about the 15th uh i think it's the 10th right now but i had to go out for this job and i had to do another one so here we are working and that's it i'm gonna go home I got this pine tree in the back I gotta go drop off but uh, yep I'm gonna call it a day I'm gonna go home fire up the aerator the dethatcher make sure that's running I still never got around to changing the oil on this but I gotta change it so we're done all right peace